Okay, I don't have a chance to read the minutes from the last meeting. Uh, so I'll entertain a motion to approve. All in favor? Board of work, there's info only. Uh, no public hearing. Did you all have been on the old business, the um, proposal for the yard waste? We didn't want to get a copy of that. Look that over. All we're doing um, when we present that probably next month, we'll be moving that language that says that the contract touches it and they have to haul it away. Um, any questions on that? <clears throat> okay. Um, so we have three tax abatements to go through tonight. First one is RMP. Do we have anyone here representing RMP? Okay. Uh, we have a chance to look over the info submitted. Mm -hmm. The pleasure of the board. I make a motion to approve the abatement. Motion to approve. Second. Second. Okay. Moving second, all those in favor? Okay. Um, power transmission components. Okay. I did reach out to the assessor's office and they did not receive the CF1 form in their office either. So Michael was working on that with them to see um, if they can, I'm assuming they'll have to file for an extension if they, I'm not sure when that deadline is um, to file for an extension to get that filed. But you might want to reach out to Casey at the assessor's office on this and it's personal property. Okay. Um, top industries. So, so with that one, can we just we just table until next month? Or I don't know what the deadline is either. I know I know that it's they're supposed to have a CS one form into our off my office and the assessor's office by May fifteenth unless they file an extension. But I don't know what that extension date is. So I would just hold that one, and if they bring it back and they they can get it on the agenda for approval based on their on deadlines, then I'll bring it to you next month. Okay. Uh, top industries. Do you have any questions in the discussion? Click there, if you want that as well. And entertain a motion to approve. I'll bring it over. Second. All right. Moved and seconded. All those in favor? All right. Setting the record tonight. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Ordinances and resolutions, ordinance 2 23, the establishment of cart use and regulation. Um, this will be the third reading. Let me take a motion for the third reading. Like that or no? You wish? So Second. All right, move second. All those in favor? Ordinance number 2 2023, an ordinance of the City Council of the City of Rochester, Indiana, to establish golf cart use and regulation. And we'll entertain a motion for the adoption of Ordinance 2 2023. The note of clarification the vote taken last month was not valid because the meeting was not valid. No, it was not valid last month because we introduced the ordinance in that meeting. And in order to have an ordinance pass, it has to undergo three readings and have a unanimous vote on the third reading to a third option. So since we did not have a unanimous two thirds, two thirds, two -thirds. Two -thirds. Yeah, there has to be a minimum five thirds. Two -thirds. Um, so I have a motion for a second. Mm -hmm. Who made the motion to vote? Three. Is 
Second. All right. Moving second. And all those in favor of adoption of ordinance number 2 2023, please signify by raising your right hand. Those opposed? She passes 4 3. I have to buy it. You're rolling. <laughs> You're rolling. Okay. Um, so um, I had asked for all the reports to be emailed to us because we wanted to jump over to the county meeting at six. Uh, does anyone have any questions? For I figured you guys would take the opportunity to not have to be at a meeting tonight. No, no. I'm a dedicated city. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs> Well, I guess with that, do you want to go ahead and Thank you. give your report? What's that? You want to go ahead and give your report? No, we've already got it. We've got time. Do you have any questions? <laughs> I, can't read, my I can't read the big word. The only other thing I have to report, other than the numbers that we have, um, is that we're going to be accepting applications again. We've got an officer leaving. Um, a lady, I'm sure, Elaine Shrove, is going to be leaving, and she's taking a position at Cassie School for the Indian Institute. Wow. Help those kids. I pray for those kids. <laughs> uh, she's going to be sorely missed. Um, it's a huge loss for the party. Uh, I wish her all the best, but we're going to be stepping out. Here. So, that's all I have. Okay. Anyone? Randy, do you have anything other than your report? Um, Wayne? No. I, I do. I do really appreciate your report on that first one. Mm -hmm. I like it too. <laughs> Marcus, Marcus, and David is not here. <laughs> Mr. Heidi, since you're here, did you have anything for LMA? Annual meeting on the 24th of June. Yeah. We're be looking, we have a nice calendar of events this year, including historic vote tours. So, those will be publicized. Thank you. Ruth, you have an area plan? Area plan just kind of talked about the Apache Drive and where we're at with that, and that we're moving forward. Plan itself is kind of approved. Um, we're getting the monies together for that. And then we had, um, Adley from Marshall County. Uh, Ty Adley. He helped Marshall County do a solar panel ordinance or solar farm ordinance. Since we have a little one, you know, basically we he, his advice to Fulton County is, is that we haven't thought deep enough and we need to spend time. Uh, to really put an ordinance in just in case somebody wants to do a solar farm. How would that affect Fulton County? And, and he would help put that together. And that we need to look at other places instead of just a very vague ordinance that we already have. So I'm sure they will start on that and work that into detail. It sounds like a long drawn out thing to have to accomplish, but a lot of thought process to it. So, any questions? Um, Petco, Big News Petco as a county did um, decide to fund the last half of the year. Um, although we did lose the AHEC contract, um, they wound up going with someone else after the budget was uh, suspended for the six months. Um, uh, and then that everything is moving along it's on Black Adder. Um, it's not without its complications, but we need to work on that. About well, Apache Drive, um, anything you can report on Apache um, The Not really the question on there is with the, uh, with the grant moving forward, nailing the head down on how he would like to proceed with. Okay. I leave anything out. We are we are ready, willing, and able to assist with anything you can ready that we can assist. Okay, there's a process that's the problem. All right, anything for 
our court. Uh, they met this uh, past month and they got a lot going on. Golf course, parks, a lot of facilities getting rented. They also got a thousand dollar grant from the uh, foundation, which was a nice, I think, uh, we're pleased with that. So we're encouraged to uh, do some long range planning and probably see if there's not more money they could pursue for the project they want. Questions? Yeah, if Council on Aging met yesterday, our biggest thing there is uh, Transpo is trying to hire another driver to uh, possibly expand services a little bit. Um, there's uh, that painting going to be going on. Rochester Council uh, is we voted on some uh, repair maintenance funds for that. There was an uh, elderly lady that did slip and fall at the South Entry Way. So, uh, kind of, uh, she slipped on one of those area rugs that catches weather and stuff. So, decided to carpet that area, make it a little more secure. So, uh, and then uh, as far as RS. The Picos, uh, they do have some uh, trips coming up that are available that have been very popular, one to Branson in December. So, And then for uh, BZA, they got a little bit of a busy night tomorrow with four things on the agenda. Uh, two, interestingly enough, they don't see very often somebody wants to uh, open a tattoo shop in a residential area on Franklin Street. So they'll deal with that. And uh, then uh, they're used to things out of the lake, but uh, somebody wants to put a uh, relatively large outdoor kitchen and a pergola uh, up out of the lake. So, uh, and then a, a couple of uh, normal things for them to handle tomorrow. So, questions that's my important we offer discounts at the tattoo parlor for first responders to buy your bills now <laughs> you have to have <laughs> all right any questions for marty you want a snake on your back or what do you want <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> any questions for marty all right uh, anything for solid waste handle adoption Yes, uh, solid waste district met for the month. Uh, we only meet every other month, so some of these figures are outdated already. But since last meeting, the center had collected 1,146 tons of recyclables, and they had information on the county land landfill as well. In February, in 34,670 tons of waste. Fulton County contributed 21% that. And month of March was 39,188 tons. Uh, again, Fulton County was 21% of that. So uh, they did purchase a new truck for service and are looking at purchasing a new tractor to keep the areas mowed around the facility and different drop off locations as well. So, in the process of pricing that at some of the local sale areas. Um, Animal Center is doing well financially. A lot of the community has been very gracious supplying needs. So, they're very appreciative of that. Uh, had significant drop off. Of animals brought in this past March, the 72 compared to 102 last year. Uh, but that bounced up in April. They were over in the mark this year in April. 99 animals brought in in April versus 95 last year. The average stay now for dogs is about 20 days. For cats, is about 21 on average before they get adopted out. Uh, they also are looking at a new vehicle for the shelter, so they're pricing those now. Uh, they've also 
that have been blessed. They have not opportunity to see the you know, cages, animal cages from a center that closed here in Indiana. Um, they just reached out to Janet because they knew of what she was doing here in our local area and offered her basically like 50 cents per cage. And I think they're $500 cages. So uh, they have a lot of those new uh, cages for the animals there on the center. And they put some of those as a farm store. So they now have some cats there that are adoptable back in the kind of the feed area at Smith Farms. They're hoping that, that will get more attention and we'll get some of the animals adopted out more quickly. Uh, they do have a sponsor night at Dairy Queen coming up July 3rd. So if you like ice cream, not then he's for the land that's sent to on July 3rd. That's all. Thank you. Any questions? All right, Brian, you have anything for tree board EMS? Yeah, tree board met May 3rd. Treat or growing. The ones that aren't, what you take down? How's that? Well, Perfect. Okay. <laughs> Good job. Uh, yeah, no, don't, don't, uh, take notes, John. <laughs> we, we have the inventory and are adjusting it as need be. And then you know, looking at the, the ones that are more substantial risk. So, getting out on the contract going out. So, I did. EMS, there's a meeting tonight at the <laughs> county. If anyone's interested in doing that. Well, I got when's the next tree board meeting? I know I ask you every month, but if either I'll make one out of one of these June 7th or June 21st, depending on uh, one of the members can't be there on the 7th, but they may put it on the 21st. Okay. I can check that real. Okay. Okay. Any questions from Brian? All right, John, you make the water board? Everything's running smooth. The water board. The only news is we're going to be buying a uh, pickup truck for forty-three thousand and nine dollars from Shepherds, and uh, but everything else is running well. Up and going strong. Any questions? Um, Bob had. I, I didn't have a question for John, but I failed to mention the pool. Wayne did report to that the pool was holding water, and I hope hopefully we got rid of the green color that was in the paper. It's kind of blue. Now. It's blue. So they got some chemicals too. Looks good. Great, thank you. All good with the pool. All in the great. The world in. <laughs> Actually, I'll take an opportunity. Uh, the hours for the pool are actually going to be modified until June 4th. So from Saturday, May 27th until June, through June 1st, they'll be 1 to 7. Um, they will be closed on June 2nd and 3rd, then open regular normal hours starting June 4th until the end of the season. That is due to staffing. We don't have enough lifeguards and everybody's graduating. So <laughs> they kind of wanted graduation weekend to be able to graduate and do their thing. So, Brian, before you adjourn, I know you're ready to go. Um, I'm let everyone know. I know that at the golf course when the past buses is typically for use in the kids. Um, in the past, you still need to get them registered, and we don't have registration in the town yet. So, um, as soon as we get those and we we'll have registration forms, then it's I'll let everyone know. So how will people find out about it? We'll put it in the paper. I'll probably go on WRI. We'll put it on our Facebook page. Just to, to, to kind of reach out to everyone. Just let me ask you this. Do you think, um, and you said we needed 30 days. Right. If, if I get everything done earlier, I'm okay starting early. Okay, well, I was going to say, if we just say it paid, so starting July 1st, they can start registration. That way, you don't have to run around trying to communicate with their things that you think we I'm have. Not to I'm okay. I mean, yeah, we said you agree 30 days, but if you're okay with it, as soon as I get them in, then sure. I'll let everyone know. Okay. I'm speaking for Andy, I think mean, we legal. The only thing he gave me was the. The rescinding of the different word concern. Mm -hmm. Other than that, I don't know of anything else. Yeah, concern. I, Randy, 
Thank you. 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 Thank you.